Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Welcome back to part two for decorating this adorable mini craft tote that I designed. We are using the Doodlebug Cute and Crafty uh, paper collection. This is, like I said, this is part two. Part one shows how to assemble this and gives you the instructions and patterns. You do not need an SVG or a Cricut or Cameo. So I'm using this and I'm cutting apart little bits here and there of the papers in the collection. This is a nice strip I just cut off from the paper collection. I just held it up to my project to see how wide it would need to be. Now, as you can see, when I put my side pockets on, I did not get them all the way down to the bottom of the box here. So that was, it was accidental, but it's okay and it's still cute. You could also put a border all the way around and then that would enable you to actually hide the fact that they're uneven if you wish to do so. Okay, and then these are from the collection, all these cut aparts and ephemera. I want to put the word create here, but I also want to lift that up a little bit. So I'm using the 3D foam strips that are super narrow and they are so easy to work with because they actually, you can bend them around the project how you want. And they're nice and skinny. There, I wanted to make sure that that side was really done well. I, sometimes I think the, the letters on the end get more tension on them than some of the letters maybe in the middle. And the nice thing about this is you can actually bend it if you take the tape off the top. So I'll show you what I mean. The tape keeps it rigid. So if you peel the tape off the top, you can actually kind of slide that around and shape it to whatever shape you need. And that's been a game changer for me. And now you can see how we have this nice curved surface right there. Let's just add that piece right there. And I just want one more little strip right in the middle for added security. Okay, I will peel this off camera. And there we have it. So now I'm just going to put that, and I'm actually going to come down over a little bit over the hearts there. Not huge. You can still see that they're hearts. There, isn't that cute? Now I have a thought here on that C. You'll notice that when they die cut this, they didn't cut out the white there or the white there, and that's okay. But I'm wondering about a button right in the middle. This is probably too big. Oh yeah. And I think this is too small. Here's one right there that I think is going to be the right size. Perfect. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the baker's twine to that. That's what I thought. I am going to need my dental floss. So I'm going to put this, it's a dental floss. I think they're called a, a loop. Put the floss in here, put that, and then pull the floss through. I used to do this with, I used to make my own little uh, a, a tool to assist using button thread. And then a friend gave me the dental floss, and oh my goodness, what a game changer. There. Now it is easy to get lost, so you might want to put those away quickly. And we can glue that down there. Now I'm going to use a permanent glue for that, but I'm going to wait just a bit because I want to do something else. Very cute. I'm going to go all the way across here with some rickrack. Let me choose my colors. Now I have this really bold rickrack and it, I do look like I have enough to go all the way around. So let's see. Oh yes, definitely. So what I'll do is I'll start it in the back and whenever I'm using fabric or trim of any kind, I use my Fabri-Tac. This will also give this edge a little more sturdiness to it. And if you stick around and come back for my next video in this series, 
I will also be making another version which will have a more sturdy lip. This uh, this is my basic edition base. <laughs> so um, I wanted to make this easy to assemble and not intimidating, but I will be doing an advanced pattern and methodology for this, and that will be if you're wanting a little more excitement in this and you're willing to go the extra mile. But I really recommend you going ahead and making one of these first because I think that will give you the confidence to go forward and try the advanced version of this. That didn't turn out too bad at all on my little seam there. You see how that just really brings that to life. That is phenomenal. I love rickrack. Now, keep in mind you could use trim around the bottom. You could use trim all the way around across here, including the pockets. So, so many options on that. Now, I love that, but I also want to do some things on the sides. And I do have like this, which I think should fit up on the pocket. I think this, it says, let's Eat, sleep, craft, repeat. I want to make sure that's focused right. Oh, that's cute. That's a really good sticker there. I, I love some of these things, but they wouldn't fit on my project unless I use like this. They're paint nobody like you. How adorable. Now, we did do something on the front for that border, and we have stickers that we could use for the back here or other panels. You know me and my love of paper clips. So I have other... Um, trims that I could cut off of this page here and I think I like the paper clip and the my happy place so I'm going to trim that down now the wording is just going to be like that I can't get it to center but I can trim it right here after my and that one paper clip so I'm going to make it a little long and then put that right there once I glue that on, I can trim it a little better. You know what we need to do. I'm having a thought here. I do have Doodlebug's tiny little paper clips in my store, in my shop online. I'll give you the links down below. So we need to incorporate at least a couple of these paper clips into this. How cute would that be? could put them right over here if they're about the same size. They actually are, my goodness, pretty close. But I think what we'll do is we'll actually put them on a, a piece of ephemera maybe, and then put that on there. Let's see what we have here. Now, a lot of these are made for scrapbooking or, or crops, you know, but we could... I love Doodlebug. I do love Doodlebug. They're as cute as a button. Let's do that. Now, I think I'm going to actually stick this up a little bit from the handle. And I'm going to hold that in place for a second and hope that these other ones, there's several others, like the, I'm so glad there's you. Let's go ahead and do this one. So I'm going to glue that back to back with the one I have on there, and that will give it a little more stability. Oh, isn't that cute? Very adorable. This has a hole in it. This is cute. It just says, love this, and this one says, besties. Now you know what I did. I'm going to put that there. And what I did too when I was buying my supplies, I got these chunky brads from them. And I don't know if they'll be overpowering, but they are so adorable. Of course, it's Doodlebug. Isn't everything adorable? So I want to see. Oh, yeah, that is perfect. So all I need to do is get a little tiny hole punch. And let's see if I put that right there could also put it on one of these. I think I like it better hanging right there. I'm just using the, I'm marking it with my brad. I want to use the small hole. There we go. Oh, it's so cute. 
Now I have that on the back and so I could either cover it with something or let me turn that a little bit like that because I can put something else right over that and you wouldn't even know that that was there. Well, there's a button, but it's not the right color, I think. I think I don't want a yellow button, so let's see what else we have. Or even Let's Craft would work. I'm going to put this up on foam. You know what I think? I'm going to peel that foam back just a little bit and get this paper clip on there. Foam back down. And now we can cover that up. How cute. That's adorable. Okay, now you can use, look at these words, retreat, handmade, memories. So if you're doing scrapbooking, you might like the memories one. So many options. Sewing. They just have the best stuff here on there. They're just so creative. I love their stuff. That is so cute. I love the sprinkle of little tiny hearts there. I know what I'm going to do next. Okay, I would like to use this, but again, it's yellow. It's, we could do something like this. That's cute. I do have other colors of those paper clips as well that I could dig out. Hello, just, hello, road trip. How's that? I would like to do. We still need to do something right here. Oh, very cute. This is really coming together. I like this, but I, I would rather it have some more color to it. Stamping the night away. It's too much pink. Let's choose something big for right here. You're so thoughtful. And I do have a friend who sews me things now and then and it's just so cute that she does that and I also have these cut aparts and so these would be great and I need something horizontal there Ooh, I also picked this up I'm excited about it this has got to go on there this is a doodle pop if you're not familiar with doodle pops it's their 3d stickers and the only place i have left is going to be right here somewhere so i think if if you like shakers you will understand my love of this this is an actual sequin jar isn't that cute so and then it has the sticker that says sparkle I like that it's got a white background on it so that you can see it more on the pattern paper. And it's like enameled, raised enamel. It is so cute. This would be perfect with that. You sprinkle my life with happiness. But I need, if I'm going to put anything else here, it has to be this horizontal one. Now, you can see how large it is and it's overpowering. So I'm going to trim it off and see what that looks like. And that is so much better. And it's going to cover up some of my paper clips, but I think that's okay. You know what? If I'm very careful, I can get it right in here on the pocket, and you can still see my happy place. But I don't know. I think what I want to do with this instead is make something for the pockets because I love it, but it's just taking up too much room. I can use this because I do. That's me. I love colorful items. And that's my happy place is something colorful. So let's do that. Let's get out this again. I'm going to peel this off camera. We have that peeled. I think I'm going to put this at an angle. And see this little My Happy Place? It's going to go right here because colorful is My Happy Place. However, I'm thinking I need another one of those cute paper clips. And these ones are the Blue Jean ones. The turquoise ones are called Swimming Pool, and these ones are called Blue Jean. Gotta get paper clips in there. 
Now, the other thing is this is going to go on top of some rickrack, so I'm going to give it a little boost of Fabri-Tac. I don't usually put glue on top of foam tape. Now, I have these Doodlebug sprinkles, and I want to pull them out because I think they're going to be perfect for this. Let me look at the big ones, too, just in case. I see anything there that I really need. I'll also give you a link underneath this video. I'll give you a link to this project here to hold your ephemera pieces, your stickers. So there are little tiny hearts sprinkled around on this uh, pattern paper, and I just think that it would be cute to add an enamel sticker here and there right on top of that. Oh man, that is perking it up so much. Adorable. And let's get a turquoise one for here. Now there's some white ones here too, and I think this would be really cute. Right there. Ha! Ah, that really perks it up. I wonder if I can put the yellow one somewhere. Ooh, and I do have those flowers. I wonder if any of these would fit. Oh my gosh, you can't go wrong with Doodlebug. Very, very fun to have this. Now think about putting in your colored pencils and your paint brushes and all sorts of really cute crafting ephemera and tools and how cute would that be or you can use this as a swap and to send cards and candies and letters of encouragement to your friend think about all of the holidays and so, so all the different themes that you could make with this tote you could do a christmas themed one you could do an Easter theme, a Halloween theme. Woo! Adorable. Cute. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. And the other thing I want to do... Those sprinkles really make it perk up. Now this one says cute as a button, so we might want to do that or put a little button right there. You could put buttons on either side and make it stick out like this here and one on the other side. Perfect. The pink really makes it pop. There you have it. How fun is that? Okay, it is so fun. I love how adorable these papers are. Okay, so underneath this video, you will get a link to the actual pattern and instructions and how to build the tote itself, as well as the, you know, information on getting the pattern. Okay, so, and then next time we're going to do the advanced version. Thank you everyone for coming along and crafting with me.